you're looking down on the earth. Right. You said you said one time you've seen colors you've never seen in your life, mm -hmm. which is interesting. Like I guess because us as humans, we haven't figured out how to right. create those colors, right? So I remember my very first, I launched at four in the morning from Florida, and there was 10 things that happened during launch that were amazing sights. And then maybe 10 or 15 minutes later, we flew into the first sunrise over the North Atlantic. Maybe over the UK, it was just a few minutes later. And I saw the sunrise and my first overwhelming impression was I'd never seen that shade of blue before. It shocked me because I didn't think there were colors I hadn't seen before, but it really was. And the pictures we take are amazing, but the chip doesn't capture, it makes one blue too much and it misses the green or the chip does not detect or sense light the way our brain does. Um, and so I'm writing a book right now, a space photography book. It'll be out next October and I'm titling chapters by color. Like oh, the first chapter is white because my shuttle flight was in the wintertime. The Earth is, well, Canada and Russia are white. I mean, there's a lot of white. Uh, the U.S. was white from snow. Europe was white. So that was just like, the Earth's white. It was pretty wild. Mostly snow, but some clouds. Um, there's a chapter on water where most of the Earth is blue, you know, because there's water everywhere. But uh, anyway, it was interesting to get to know the Earth by color. Um, we installed the cupola module for the first time on my shuttle flight. And I remember when I opened the, windows, well, I, I opened the window shades for the first time and that thing is just incredible because there's seven windows and you can like stick your head and be surrounded by space. Now there's window panes so you can tell you're in a spaceship, whereas in, during a spacewalk you can't, like you can push your face out and kind of be in space completely. But in the cupola it's a similar experience. And whenever we would fly over Australia, the whole space station would become red just because Australia is red, the right. outback is red. And so I, when I think of Australia, I think of red. Or the Sahara is very red also. So it's just interesting to think of the different places on Earth by color, which is something I had never thought of before. I would think of, I love the food in France, or you know, I love seeing England, or Korea was a very busy place, or whatever. But now I think of it by their color, not by the cultural things. Continue watching this fascinating conversation for free by clicking on the link below to visit our website, learn from the best minds in the world, and connect with a community of passionate people building the best versions of themselves. Just click on the link below, and I'll see you on the inside.